friends, uh, today I'm making this video to share a very bad experience with uh, my bike uh, top box. This is the Shad SH29. I had uh, bought this from uh, a good uh, store in Trivandrum, Helmet World. I thought because it's Shad and a Spanish European company, this will be really good because previously what I've um, got was the uh, Stats one, which was a fixed uh, top box. You couldn't remove it, but this one is removable. So I thought, you know, when I uh, got this, this is going to be very viable for me. Uh, since, you know, sometimes back riders, pillion riders, we're not able to just get onto the bike if it is not removed. So I got this in the beginning, the most drastic experience happened it just came out just like that and uh, got uh, uh, rashes all over it it fell on the boat and after using it for like one one and a half months what really happens is once i uh, uh, ride from my club this actually falls down it, it falls on the road and uh, I had to pick it up and I couldn't fix it up. So what I then looked up was uh, why this happened and I'll show you what happened. As you can see on the shard base plate, this thing broke and it the plastic broke and there was no option to buy another base plate. And this costs around like 1,200, 1,500 just for the spare price so i had to buy it from mumbai and even now there is a chance that you know there is friction uh on the slot the gap where this is fixed there is um you know like a uh, sort of friction and this also can break i'll show you uh where it stands see so here the, the the design is a bit flawed and uh, that's why you know, it was not working well. So now, that another issue occurred, and you know, this time I'm just removing this case because it's given me only headache, only headache. Now the third issue has come up, and this time I'm totally disappointed since he's, you can see there is a small road here through which the box closes there's a small steel road here and if you come to the other side what has happened is uh, the road is missing I don't know where it's gone nobody knows even I don't know so when you open this when you open this you can see since there is no steel road inside it, it is not working very well and to close it you need to have that rod firm in place otherwise what happens is this, this will not close properly you can see you don't close properly you need to latch on top of it and then close so within uh, i think eight months this whole thing has gone down in the, the problems initially fell down once the plastic latch broke and then now uh, this thing gone. So for 4,800 rupees when you're buying a shad, you wouldn't expect this to happen. I don't know whether the clone shad products are available. It looks like the design and everything is fine, the lettering everything is okay. And this is the experience I got from buying a shad from Helmet World and Shalantam. The shop seems to be very having a good reputation but, uh, reputation, but this is what I've experienced. So friends, uh, you know, I have ordered for a ASG top box, a 20 liters, but the price was much cheaper, 2500. And if you buy from ASG uh, uh, shop directly online, you get it for 2500. And if you buy from the AH helmets in Mumbai, you need to pay around 3000, but they charge 500 for Korea. So it is about to come and about to fit it. So, yes, friends, this is uh, this is the bad experience I've had. Uh, and I would, from my experience, uh, tell people uh, who are planning to buy the Shad SH29, uh, from my experience, what I personally feel is be a little bit uh, careful before buying this Shad 
SH uh, 29. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.